were to describe myself in 60 th seconds, I think it'd be pretty hard because I think there's a lot of different aspects to me. One of the biggest ones I would say is my determination. I remember even in kindergarten running across the field trying to beat all the boys because I wanted to be the best. I wanted to do the best. And I think that plays a huge role in who I am today. Even today, I try and be the best out on the field or even in the classroom. So the person that's made the biggest impression on my life is definitely my mom. Every single day I can remember her going, so how was your day, how was your practice, what can you do to make yourself better? And even when I was like five, I can remember her going the extra mile to get me to gymnastics practice, to get me to school. I remember her staying up some nights really late at night to figure out how I can get to practice so that I don't miss something. And she's taught me that if you put your mind to anything, you can really succeed in life. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> coaches in my life and they've all taught me something different and it's always helped me become who I am today but one thing that a great coach has and I have only had about a handful of these is the fact that they get to know me as a person out off the field outside of school they know me and who what my values are and how I think and how I work and they become my friends honestly I have a joke with my current track coach where he's my track dad I go up to him with any problem, and it could be during a workout, it, could not, it might not be, and he will help me solve it. And I think that really helps us in our workouts because he can read my body before I even know what's going on. He understands me and he helps me learn just by how he knows I think. My role models are kind of unconventional. I would say that they're my grandparents. All of them have such amazing stories from when they came here as immigrants in the 30s when they're and selling newspapers in order to get their family <laughs> to the next meal. I think that their determination has really come out in who I am today. Even my grandmother on my father's side, she came over to the US when she was 21 to help raise money for her family and send it back to the US or to Sweden. And I think that is such an emotional and moving story for me. And another thing is my Grammy. She put her education before anything else. She did that more than what her siblings did. And she went above and beyond. She even went out of state, which was unheard of for college. And when her father said, if you come home, I'll buy you a car, she said, no thanks, I'd rather walk to my classes. I think that is something I aspire to be every single day.